Paraguay, a big win for this Celtics team against the Bucks, and a team that you guys could very well see down in the playoffs, down the stretch. Just what was the key for you guys to get this win, especially with that late game execution? Um, I think we just wanted the defensive physicality to start the game, which I think we did a really good job of. And then um, I think that was good for us to, to have those those reps at the end of the game. And uh, JT made big plays, JB made big free throws, and we uh, were able to get a win. What's the balance between you guys were playing? Then the fourth quarter happened, and you guys were walking it up. At one point, you were down 24 to 9 in the fourth quarter. Where is the balance when you have a big lead in the fourth quarter? How do you guys want to play? Yeah, um, I think there's uh, a good balance of, I mean, I don't think we were really getting stops, which we weren't, we weren't really allowed to get in transition, and then that zone kind of slowed us down a little bit. But I think we were, we were getting good looks for the most part, um, just we weren't knocking them down, and um, and they were able to get out in transition, and they were making making that run. So um, we were able to get some stops, a little bit more stops during that fourth to start, and then get out and run and um, create offense that way. D. White, I, I'm not going to talk about the game. I want to talk about you uh, in particular, you know, how great you are as being a guard that can block shots, right? What is it that – I mean, you have great anticipation. When did you find out this is one of your greatest strengths that you have and that you could it, – it's just like you, your anticipation, your hands are fast. Like, when did you learn that you had this in your game? Um, I think it kind of started when I was at the D2 school. Um, I mean, you block shots there, but um, you don't really know how it's going to translate to the highest level. But um, started there, and then I, I was blocking shots at the D1 level and just, I mean, just doing everywhere I've been at. So um, I think I'm, I'm a quick jumper. I don't know if I'm the highest jumper, but I'm a quick jumper. So um, kind of catches people by surprise. So uh, and I kind of started from there, and um, I'm a rim protector, so I got I to gotta hold it down. Hello. Derek, when you, you guys have a massive lead in the Eastern Conference, you have a lead in the NBA, you're, it, it seems odd that you're not going to have home court advantage, but you guys still play with energy. You guys still bring it. Like, what is motivating you guys game to game? Um, we just love to compete. Um, top to bottom, people love to compete on this team, and um, we understand what the, the big goal is and the big picture, but um, we can't skip any steps, and I think for the most part this season, we haven't, and so um, we understand what, what, what's coming up, and we just want to be prepared for it. And Derek, what's been the message from head coach Joe Mazzulla to keep you guys engaged and lock in down the stretch of the season as the playoffs approach? Say hi if you can hear me. Yeah, he just want to uh, keep getting better. Um, he's never satisfied. Uh, he's always pushing, pushing the envelope, seeing different ways we can win games. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's going to love to look at this film and see where we can improve and um, what they did to, to kind of slow us down there. So um, that's, the, that's the great thing about Joe is he, he's always hungry to get better and uh, we're all willing to learn. Uh, so talk about this luxury that you have. You have uh, Christoph Porzingis, right? Last year you didn't have the year before, you know, you got with the finals last year in the playoffs. Talk about how different this team is with having a presence like him, not only on the offensive end, because we and also on the defensive end. Yeah, uh, he's one of a kind. Um, I think that that offensive rebound with the dunk was was one of the biggest plays in the game, and um, I mean, he can shoot the ball from anywhere, he can score from from anywhere, and um, defensively he kind of just holds the paint down for us. And he's seven three, so it's hard to score on him down there. So um, it's been great to have him, uh, great to to get him in with the team, and uh, I mean he's a great guy off the court too. So it's fun to play with him. We can't get through this interview and not talk about Peyton Pritchard and the night that he had, the energy that he inserted into this game off of the bench. Pat Beverly gives him the two little, and he turns up. Peyton Pritchard does in that first half. Just how invigorated is this team? Are, are you guys, when you see your teammates like Peyton Pritchard performing like that and really buying in and, and really producing out there on the court? Yeah, Peyton got a heart of a line. Um, he don't back down from anybody. Uh, I mean, he looks forward to matchups like this. I mean, he just looks forward to hooping, in period. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a blowout or a big game like this. So um, you love to play with a guy like that, and he just loves to hoop, and he's the ultimate competitor. And uh, it, was, it was big time what he did for us in the first half and, and really in the second half too. So um, every time he's in there, he just helps us win games. All right, nine straight wins at home. Jarek White, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, congratulations on the win. I appreciate it. Presented by your New England Ford dealers.
Built for America. Built Ford Proud.